Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We are back again playing the fantastic Nuclear Throne and we're playing as eyes. You might have seen it in the thumbnail, but we're playing as eyes. Um, I don't know what eyes does and I probably should have just checked, shouldn't I? Uh, but we're back again playing this game. I've lowered the volume a little bit. Hopefully that should help with you guys. We played a little bit of this on the, uh, the podcast with Never Named actually. Never Named is slightly well versed in this game and gave me some nice tips and stuff but yes all of you guys watching if you have tips please give me them please do uh, i need as much help as possible with this game very new to this game and i i don't know what i'm doing i'm pretty sure this guy if i remember correctly if you hold right click he sucks up bullets and turns them into ammo i, I i'm gonna have to figure this out Okay, he can just suck things towards him, including enemies, by the looks of it. That was really bad. For some reason, I tried to dodge roll and then realized this guy doesn't have a dodge roll. So that was a bad start. So we can... We can suck like rad... Wait, so... Is there any point to not just holding right click? I don't know. Let's let's find this out. But this this guy, I like him. Um, More HP and ammo drop seems awesome off the start. We definitely need the HP drops, 100%. So we can suck rads to us from a, from a further distance. We can suck ammo and chests to us. But it seems it sucks enemies towards us too. So maybe that's the main reason to not uh, not keep hold of it all the time. But this is going to be useful. Um, pop gun. We'll probably take that over this here. We've got a few, uh, a few of these dudes. Yeah, I like the fact that we can suck rads up from a bit of a further distance. That's definitely useful. This is going to be good. I'm, I'm, I'm liking eyes. He's a cool fella. Uh, less enemy HP. Um, higher max ammo. Extra chest bonds. Let's just go with the scarier face. It sounds very good. Um, Gundromeda strain. Everyone knows it's S tier. So something that does the equivalent in this game. Surely should be S tier as well. But yeah, people need to give me a, a good idea of how to best play each character. A nice breakdown of... Of where I'm going wrong with the characters I play and how... That's that's definitely wrong. Where I'm going wrong with who I play and how to best play them. I am going to look at eyes and see. Um, sees in the dark and telekinesis. Okay, they're, they're the main two things he has. Uh, good to know. But yes, um, if people can let me know how to better play the characters I'm playing as, that would always be great. Any, any tips are always welcome. Um... I'm guessing using the pistol early on is kind of a good idea, but I suppose when your two guns use the same ammo type, it doesn't actually make that big of a difference. But yeah, the telekinesis, I'm not sure how best to use that. I think that's just going to be useful when we really, really need HP. I think. Like, when we're really desperate for HP. Also, apparently there's some extra secret floors we can go to. Like, one on the first floor, if you pick up if you i think it's if you pick up everything without killing more than three percent of the enemies you get to open a secret stage so maybe we'll attempt to do that sounds kind of interesting this gun seems great it's very slow firing and helps out a lot yeah telekinesis is something that i'm a little less familiar on how to best use uh got an smg there i'll take that a lot of things using the same ammo here i mean tommy gun is an smg so that makes sense who we got? Who we got? Who we got? We can pull them from quite a long distance as well, by the looks of things. Like, we can do this here, look. And it pulls them from quite far away. Okay, here we go. Right, should be able to defeat our boss this time. Um, attracts drops. So, that seems interesting. Having having the ability to get more drops from further away. I'm going to do that. With, with Telekinesis, that seems like it combines into a pretty pretty useful combination there. Uh, being able to pull things in from a really long distance. Especially, like I said earlier, having the ability to do that with health seems invaluable. And also, I mean, rads. It just means that we don't end up losing out on, on rads. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and play this as safely as possible and go for... Big boy that's just hit me for three immediately. I always forget that he can go through walls. The SMG here should do a fine job of taking him out. Of course, as you can see, it's very inaccurate. We just got hit by a random shot in the dark there. This should be him dead. Maybe not. There you go. Nice one. These little scorpion dudes are pretty savage. I've uh, got a wrench there. I don't think we need the wrench. We did get a gun that fell in here. want to see what that is. Uh, rhino skin, boiling veins. Um, let's just go with rhino skin. I like the ability to uh, to be a bit more tanky. 
Grenade launcher. Okay. So we'll probably take that over this. In fact, other way around. I like this thing a lot. I've been told that the thing that gives um, that gives piercing and homing to uh, to bolt weapons is really, really good. Let's uh, get in the corner here and sort these guys out. Apparently, we really don't want to let these guys get to their last attack. That could be devastating for us, so we shall make sure... Ow, shotgunner. This area I find really difficult for some reason. The enemies are just so much more, like, in your face. And the, the corridors are so much tighter, like... I did not think that guy was going to hit me there, but apparently he did. Right, we've got to remember we can quite easily kill ourselves with the uh, grenade launcher here, so we don't want to be using it at too close a range. Also, I don't want to use all the ammo for this thing, because there are certain things we can do with it, which I, I very much like to. We've got 22 shots left. We're, we're, we're perfectly fine right now. Right. Kill you. So it's in here. Toxic boat. I'll take that. That's the secret stage. Let's head in. Oh, yes. Uh, hmm. Shells bounce further. Let's just go with this one. It's, the rest aren't really very good for us, so. But this is just like an extra little area that's really... Okay, we unlocked his B character. I was going to say, this is a really easy area. Um, <laughs> and I immediately died. So if we go to menu, can we switch to his B skin now? So if we go over to eyes. Hey, we go over his B skin. Nice. Cool. We, we unlocked a B skin already. So B skins are just exactly the same as the Iron Gungeon. Just like you do certain challenges and you get alternate skins. Some of them are really hard. Obviously that one can't have been too hard. I think I just got lucky. I'm really struggling to see how useful telekines telekinesis actually is. I'm just going to use my pistol here. Try and divide our ammo correctly. It's always a shame when you don't get a mutate on the first floor. But we've got to deal with it. But yeah, I've been thoroughly enjoying playing this game as of late. Uh, we'll open up this bad boy. Take care of these guys a little easier. I may have made a mistake here. I may have made a mistake here. <laughs> oh my god. I think I lost out on a lot of rads there. I do apologize. I know I could have just used telekinesis. But there were so many things in my face, I really didn't want to use telekinesis if I didn't have to. Uh, let me get this chest. Thank you. Right, what we got here? We pulled a weapon and I saw it. Um, homing bolts will go for and try and build towards that. We got the shotgun, which I'll probably take over the slugger. I like the shotgun a lot. Okay. Big bandits here. Oh, I got hit. Damn it. Big Bandit gets wrecked by shotguns. I mean, I backed myself into a corner here, which I'm not very happy with. Got him. Lovely. Got all them rads. Them sweet, sweet ratty rads. Some more ammo, and that should be it. Nice. Right, um... Probably go with this again. Ammo and HP drops seem, seem super useful. Let's push on forward. Shotguns in this area. Probably my favourite thing. Being able to keep these rats away with a close range blast of uh, damage that can kill multiple enemies in a single hit. Or a single ammo, should I say. Is very, very nice. You got too close to me, dude. Too close. Right. Got our shells back. I'm really hoping we get a bow here soon. Oh my god. The rats. I find them so difficult. Also, them assassins are apparently absolutely savage. We should be very careful for those. No! No! Go away, rats! Oh, one HP in a dream. Um, I'll go with this because we have really low HP. It doesn't seem like it's that good in the long run. But for quite literally right now, it seems pretty good. Stay away from me, assassin. HP. 
Okay, I'm, I'm really seeing the, the ability to pull things towards me being super useful right now. Because I just pulled a bunch of HP towards me and all of those rads I probably would have missed out on. Telekinesis is big right now. Also, this pistol with a fire rate increase was crazy good. Okay, we made it through. No. Okay, we got it. We got it. Flamethrower. I'm going to take that off my shotgun right now. Excuse me, guys. Do you want to maybe go away? Okay, we're out of ammo already, which is not what I was expecting. The ammo and HP drop increases are really showing themselves as being incredibly valuable right now. Assault Slugger. Y'all, yeah, please. Triple Slugger. Gotta tell you, I quite like that. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, we're getting we're getting fairly fairly far here. I think Big Dog's down there. If you don't know what Big Dog is, it's that massive thing that's gonna... Yeah. That's gonna hurt us greatly. Oh my god, I'm so dead. I don't have enough ammo for this! I ran out of ammo! <laughs> Crazy. I do love it. Oh my god. The night vision is also quite nice. I didn't even really speak about that, but the night, the night vision is lovely. Okay, so that was actually pretty good. We, we did okay there. We got to Big Dog for, I think that's the first time we've made it to Big Dog. Use the wrench, save on some ammo. No, thank you. Ah, there was a chest back there. God damn it. It pulled me in. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be taking the, um, the, the the rabbit's foot, I think it's called, something like that. The one that gives me more uh, more ammo drops and health drops. That seemed really valuable there. Also, saving ammo like I am right now is fantastic. Okay, good. Um... Damage taken is dealt. Kills reload, lower your reload time. Get full health and some ammo. Some kills regenerate ammo is the best one there. Although not great for us right now. Laser pistol's pretty good though. I'll take laser pistol any day of the week. But yeah, I'm, I'm realizing that like later on, we just want to be using telekinetic, telekinetic, Stop walking to that guy. That'd be great. Thanks. Oh my god, how am I alive? What am I doing? What the hell is this? Ah! We got machine gun, disc gun, and grenade launcher. Probably don't want to use any of those. Holy shit, how am I alive? Ah, oh, big dog. That's not big dog, what am I on about? Big bandit. Holy shit, I should have probably gone and picked up another gun there, but we're through it now. Right, uh... More HP from medkits. Scarier face. We have to take scarier face. It's too good. As much as I want the longer melee reach right now, I don't think it's the right play. We just gotta be quick with our melee strikes to make sure these things don't get too close. Wow. That was an explosion and a half. And that guy died to the poison. Oh my god, this is this is working out fantastically. Melee weapons down here seem pretty good. Seem pretty good. Got an SMG. I'm gonna take with a laser pistol actually. I've been enjoying that. Laser gun seems strong. Okay. Oh, yeah, rabbit paw. That's what it's called. Rabbit paw seems awesome for me. Assassin no. I guessing, I'm guessing punching a salamander or hitting it with a, a, a wrench probably isn't the, uh, the correct way to deal with them. But it is the way I'm dealing with them. Oh my god. Stay away from me, unholy beast. 
Oh, for God's sake, that guy got in there. Not low HP. High HP, please. Right. You guys got to go. Ah, oh, assassin! Didn't see you there, you fool. You scurred me. Triple machine gun. Sounds fun. Okay, where's the last enemy? It's probably a little bad flying around somewhere, isn't it? Okay, this thing seems awesome. Don't stand near cars when you kill things either. That will hurt. As if I got hit by that. I'm, I'm very, I'm very upset. Get here, Rads. Holy shitting hell. Everything stuck towards me. <laughs> As if that works. Towards me. Fear me. <laughs> How am I up such low health here? What in the shit is going on? Okay, I probably shouldn't shoot that thing. No. I need HP game. Come on now. Um, prevents death once. Uh, recharges at full HP in the next area. I guess we'll take that because we're at such low HP here. Everything come towards me. I'm out of ammo. Bazooka. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> that gave us no HP. Are you kidding me? Okay, there you go. Got some HP there. Oh, boy. Probably not the best thing to be coming down here with. Uh... Explosive immunity would be key right now. Ah, new area. I got to this area on stream. I remember it being hard. Definitely not the area I should be using a bazooka in. I can tell you that for sure. Definitely a shovel is not what we were needing, though. Ah, this dude's getting close. Letting rads get away is possibly the worst thing I could do right now, and I'm doing it way too much. I realize that. How do we have so much rocket ammo here? Excuse me, sir. Could you not get that close to me? I was trying to telekinesis the uh, rads to me, not not you to me. Wow. I do not want to go in on this guy with uh, explosive. That would be bad. Um... Slower enemy bullet seems pretty good. I doubt us living too long here. Is that an enemy? Nope. Oh, that's an enemy, though. Big dog, big nuts. I am totally going to kill myself. And I'm not just talking generally. I'm talking about specifically in this game. HP. Lovely HP. Oh, my good golly gosh, sir. May you calm yourself muchly. I do not like the very limited amount of space I have to walk through there. Really? A grenade launcher next? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Get back. Get close to me, HP. HP! Oh my good golly gosh, he's done it. He's got maximum HP. Just rockets for days. How have we not run out of rockets yet? Um, is, is, is this the killing gives us ammo back thing? Just absolutely beasting it. Please, dogs, stay back. I know we're missing out on stuff. I get that. But at the same time, I do want to be alive. Oh, I get that we're missing out on a bunch of rads. 
And ammo, too. Yeah, we, we have lost a lot of ammo this stage. Eh, I want to see what the gun is. Lightning shotgun. That's something. Holy heck. Holy heck, we're getting we're getting further this time around. Okay, I do not like the very limited amount of space I have here. And that is why I had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh, hello. How are you? Who are you? Why are you? <laughs> I have many questions. This man just fell out of the sky and bopped me. But that's at least the furthest we've been so far. So... Gonna gonna go out on a whim here and say that explosives are pretty good if you use them correctly. Pretty damn good. That worked for us immensely. Give me that rad. Okay, level two on the first stage is great. Lots of bullets. Um, most hit bullets become ammo. Sounds good. Of course, I missed that immediately. Okay, I'm guessing hit bullets does not work for uh, the crossbow. Seems to be the case, at least. I mean, it does say bullets. I can't fault them. I can't fault them for that. Something like the assault rifle seems really good with the rifle gland. We can just kind of sit back and not run out of ammo. Seems great. Don't know why I shot at that. Apparently those present cases just contain ammo of any kind, not always for the guns you're holding. What gun we got here? Pop rifle. I'm actually really happy with what we've got going on right now. What we've got, what we've got going on right now is is pretty pretty spicy. Got the crossbow for doing stuff like that. And the assault rifle dealing with these guys. And effectively never running out of ammo. Which I'm enjoying right now. I haven't noticed us maggot things doing that last episode, but this episode they've been doing it a lot where they hop on the ground. Okay, I'm feeling more confident. I'm definitely learning. Um, let's see what we got here. Scary of Ace is just... It's too good, man. It's too good. Okay, that's a wall. Be aware of those. They do exist. Give me those rads. Ah, there's a rat still down here. I did not see you there, Mr. Rat. Okay, I've made a terrible decision here. Just, just, just bail. Oh, for the rats. They're so tricky. Um, stronger telekinesis. Some kills regenerate ammo. I guess we'll go for the stronger telekinesis. Not that it's amazing for us, but better than nothing. Oh yeah, that's a lot stronger. That is a lot, lot stronger. So getting the more chests and stuff right now would be amazing. Laser rifle. Honestly, just very happy with what we've got going on right now. Excuse me. Oh my good golly gosh. How do I keep getting hit by these guys? You are scary. Stay away from me. Oh, that's some HP. Lovely. Oh, I missed out on some homing bolts. Yes. Let's try out this deadly combo that I've been told so much about. It seems amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It seems amazing. 
We need the ammo on kills, though, to sustain this. Mini good it is. Wow. Got the minigun now. That seems like it'd be pretty good with Herming, but sadly that's not the way this works. We've got Big Dog there. Let's try and clear out some of the riffraff before we sort of take on Big Dog here. The noise that he makes is insane. Wow. The minigun's pretty good. The minigun's pretty good. I am very, very much liking this. <laughs> this feels good. Right, uh, we've got more HP and ammo drops, corpses foot higher. Uh, yeah, let's go with the, let's go with the paw. The paw, it's served as well. Ow. That guy hit me. It's okay, though. We're good. Nice. Okay, we got a super splinter gun there. Uh, it's just used the same ammo as the crossbow. I've got to try this out. Get in this. I don't want to use it in tight corridors, really. Doesn't seem like it'll work as well there. For that, we use this. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. The Super Splinter thing, it uses more ammo, but it seems like it's going to be pretty hefty. Oh my god, it's amazing. This guy's got a car. Could you calm down, sir, maybe? And not pick up a fucking car. Oh god, I got hit. It's so hard keeping track of everything. Oh, HP, lovely. Okay, this thing seems to burn through ammo pretty quick, but my god, is it strong. Um, extra chest spawns. Uh, no damage from explosions. Prevents death. Let's go with the extra chest spawns under the under the pretense of getting more ammo and, and HP. I don't know what this gold guy does. I saw him last time. I imagine he's just a beefier. He he wrecked me. Wow, we are a bit stuck down here, to say the least. Okay, I spawned the police. Sorry, police. Ah! There's a lot of cops. Get in the hole. Okay, we went to the danger zone. Have absolutely no idea what this is. Is this the throne room? I think it is. Pick a throne. Okay. Uh, a bear head is a fair head. No HP drops, bigger HP chests more often. Uh, no ammo drops, more weapon drops. Pickups fade faster and are worth more. Free mutation, but narrow future. A lot more cursed chests. More drops when at full HP. Let's try pick up fade away faster. With telekinesis, I think we'll be able to deal with that. Okay, this is just a, a, another boss. What? What? <laughs> this guy's crazy. This guy's nuts. I spawn in and I just get melted by him. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna have to learn how to deal with him. 
I, I'm guessing the strong telekinesis didn't help so much there. I just kind of pulled all of the enemies into one central spot and let them wail on me. That's kind of funny, though. Um, explosives are the way to go. The way of the future. Taste my logic gun, bitch, man. Um, less enemy HP. I think... I think that's the, like I said before, that's the one problem I have with this game. You just kind of have to take the same mutations because some of them are just so ultimately OP. Like, I can't imagine a world where when I have a crossbow, I don't take the homing bolts again. That seems amazing. I got told by never named how good that combination was and damn, he was not lying. We've got no ammo in this. Let's take the screwdriver then. No, there's something else left, is there? Get over here. Okay, so that counts as an enemy. I do not like the fact that these guys are so difficult to kill with a slugger. So I'm going to use my screwdriver. Ah, one left. Yeah, the slug is, like, good, but bad. Do not like Big Bandit spawning in there. Not too hot for us, yeah. We had really shit weapons that time around. Really shit weapons. I really like having the pistol, to be honest. The pistol's really good. Yas, crossbow. Taking a crossbow just for the um, the bolt is so good. If we get it here, then I'd be very happy. Um, we did. Bolt marrow, let's go. Boom, boom. Obviously, don't use it on these little dudes. It's limited ammo. If we can find some more ways to generate some more ammo, that'd be great. It seems really good on the later stages, not as useful on the earlier ones. Ow, what if I got hit by one of those? That's two grenade launchers down this stage. Can the game, like, not? Ow! Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. There's so many enemies. I feel like because I've gotten certain distance now, the game's just got harder. Because there's just so much going on here. Meme gun! <laughs> I just fired the disc on a bunch of times. Nice. Um, mutate later. Shells bounce more. Get full HP and some ammo. I'm gonna go with hammerhead. That sounds that sounds reasonably useful. Push her a limited number of walls. Ow. Of course, immediately hit here. Whoa, the shotgun guy got me. Is he meant to be like a little crocodile? He looks pretty cool. Right, this will be our last one, I think, unless it goes absolutely terribly. But I am thoroughly enjoying this game. I hope you guys are enjoying watching, because I am enjoying playing. It's it's a it's a fun old time. It's so much more arcadey than Enter the Gungeon and like fast pace. And like crazy. Fun, but we've been making steady progress getting some cool builds going on um we'll take the wrench just because the wrench is such a good way to save ammo in the earlier stages okay we got the pop gun pop gun and it pop pops it really does pop pop Assault rifle. I'm sticking with a pop gun. Got all of that. Nice. Mutation. What are you giving us? Her Herming bolts. Rabbit paw taking that early. Seems to be a, a, a great idea. Big bandit. No thank you. Oh, fuck. 
Also, another thing that this game does that's brutal. There's absolutely... We'll do one more. There's absolutely no hit immunity. So if you get hit, you can get hit again straight after. You don't, you don't have any iframes when you get hit, like, at all. It's crazy. So that, that seems to be the main way I take damage. Because I, I obviously most roguelikes I play have this iframe uh, type thing going on. That I kind of just assume that all of them do. And that gets me, uh, gets me messed up. Gets me messed up. What we got to start, um, shells bounce further, no damage from explosions under 4 HP, better accuracy. Let's go with shells bounce further and try and build towards that. Ah. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Open up the door. I want that bazooka run back. That bazooka run was amazing. Imagine that with a 4 HP thing. That'd be insane. Uh, this gun is it's just a meme, so let's just... This gun's an absolute meme. I love it. Come get your disc gun. Also, why is Pop Gun bouncing so much? Does Pop Gun normally bounce so much, or is it? Ah! Uh, <laughs> is Pop Gun counting as a shell? I don't know. I like it though. Pop, pop. Scarier face. As I said, as always, it's just better than the rest. I could have taken that because there's a laser pistol there for the uh, extra energy damage. That would have been quite fun. Did not realize I was out of ammo there. That could have gone a lot worse than it did. I always seem to lose about half my HP every time I get here. I don't know if you could swap with space. I've been scrolling. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Still things left? Give me those bullets, boy. Rhino skin. Got him. That assassin boy. Don't really want to be near the cars, so I don't know why I keep walking near them. Probably a bad idea. I'm enjoying using the shotgun, though. It's, it's very fun. This gun, the meme, is back. I'm not going to use it this time, though. You've gotten caught in a car, sir. Yeah, I was I was staying away from that car for that very reason. I was, I was watching as that was about to explode, and I was like, I am not getting caught up in that bad boy. Oh, look at that. I got just double shot. That's That's got to be, like, my main issue with why I'm dying. I keep thinking I have iframes and not really reacting when other things shoot me after I get hit first time. And that is not how the game works. Oh, for fuck's sake. Walked at the wrong time, then. Um, some kills regenerate HP. We haven't seen that in a little while, actually, so we'll take that. Okay, I didn't realize the big dog was here already. I am not ready for that. Dude, I can't hit my shots. I'm missing everything. So apparently, Big Dog, you can kind of farm him for things, because all of his missiles drop stuff. 
Oh, damn, the missile got me. I didn't realize I had such a wide explosion radius. Either way, that's going to be a great finish after the episode. Absolutely love that. Again, thank you, Skull, for making all these absolutely amazing thumbnail character arts. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, we're having different thumbnail characters for each character that I play. Hopefully having one for each. This is hopefully going to be a more of a longer going series. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.